Hey guys, what's going on? Justin here with Money River Outdoors, and I'll tell you what, I am super excited. It has been a long winter. It is spring 2020, and today will be the first day of 2020 that I get out on the water and shoot some fish right in the face. So we're gonna get this boat hooked up to the truck, and we're gonna get out there and get it done. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay yes i lied it is 2020 but it is definitely not spring it is the middle of february and as you can tell it sucks outside i'm going stir crazy so i think what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna do a video on my bow fishing rig and how i put my fan on my bow fishing rig so stick with me guys All right guys, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I put my fan on my boat. Now, a lot of guys, they uh, have their bow fishing boats with their fans and their fans never come off. It's a strictly bow fishing boat and that's all they do with it. Me, I like to run ditty poles, I like to go rod and reeling. Um, I just like to go out for a day with my family on the boat. And so my boat is set up to do a lot of different configurations. And so I had to uh, figure out how to make this fan come on and off of this boat fairly quickly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like right now. All right, so the most important part of getting this fan on and off my boat quickly is this setup right here. This is just a, a chain pulley on a uh, little hoist or dolly system that I put up in the rafters of my shop here. Um, basically all that is, is just a large barn door um, rail system. And so I just attach that up there into my rafters and then I put my, um, I put my chain hoist on it and then that just comes down to my hook there that I can hook, you know, my fan or anything that I want to lift. Um, I've lifted this motor off of the boat before and just whatever needs done. So that's the first part of, of making this work quickly and efficiently. All right, so the next part of this is hooking up so, uh, a way to hook the, the fan up to uh, my, my hoist system here. And what I came up with was uh, basically this is just a jerk strap like you would use uh, to pull vehicles out of the ditch or whatever. Um, I found this works the best because it's got, um, it's really thick and you know it's not going to get cut or whatever and it's fairly long to help me wrap around this whole setup here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get that put in place and then we'll go from there. Okay, so it's been a few months since I put this thing on and it took me just a little bit longer than what I had hoped uh, to figure out the, the routing of this strap again. Um, but once I do it once or twice, I'll get it dialed in. I can actually put this thing on and off in about 20 minutes by myself. So um, I finally got the strap in place and I'm gonna go ahead and hoist it up in the air and then I'm gonna slide it over onto the boat. So let's get at that. Get this uh, dolly out of the place, or get this dolly out of the way. 
Uh, and then pretty much all I gotta do is I uh, bolt it down on four corners here, bolt it to the, to the boat, and then go ahead and hook up my controls. All right guys, so I hope you can hear me okay. Um, I had to turn my furnace on here in the shop because it's getting cold out. So uh, like I said, hope it's not too loud. Hope you can hear me over top of it. But one of the things that I want to uh, show you guys that I did here is I made a wiring harness that goes from the bow fishing deck all the way back to the fan, uh, the fan assembly there. And this uh, wiring harness has got everything in it for the, the bow fishing lights. Um, I've got lights back on the, the fan itself, and I've also got the, um, the fuel pump. The fuel pump that runs the, the fan motor, um, I have a switch up here on the deck, and I can turn that fuel pump on and off. Like if I have to uh, turn the motor off for a little while, I can flip that fuel pump on and off so that fuel pump's not on all the time. And so that's just another one of the wires that I have ran in this harness. And then also um, just the wires for the, the ignition switch because I've got the, the key up here on the deck so I can turn that motor on and off from up here. Um, so I've got all that stuff in this wiring harness here. Um, and I'm also, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put some lights back there on the, on the fan, on the fan deck that point up this way, up towards the, uh, the bow fishing deck so that when I'm shooting uh, video at night of me of us bow fishing um, it's gonna look a lot better last year was the first time that I'd done any uh, videotaping while bow fishing and I was having problems with light it just didn't look very good so I'm gonna make another switch up here on my bow fishing deck so I can turn lights on and off that are clear at the back of the boat so that's just gonna be another wire that I'm gonna go ahead and put in this harness um, but anyhow like I said I've got this harness that goes back to the fan, uh, the fan deck, and then I've got the same type of harness up here that goes to the bow fishing deck. And so when I want to take these on and off, it's just a quick disconnect. Of I got three or four different connections here, and they're just real nice, watertight, uh, quick connects and plug and play, and you're rock and rolling. You're good to go. So I really like this setup that I got here for the wiring system. All right, so back here in the back of my boat, I've got two 12 gallon fuel tanks. And what I like about this is I can run one fuel tank. Uh, I can run my, my fan motor. This is the fuel line to my fan motor. And right there is the fuel pump. And like I said, I can turn that fuel pump on and off from the bow fishing deck but I've got this line set up with the same uh, fuel line and adapter here as the mercury motor that I'm running. So I can run this in here and then I can run my motor out of that fuel tank. And then if for some reason I run out of gas in that fuel tank, I can just quick come over here and I can run my big motor off of this fuel tank as well. So I can go either direction with either motor. And I just think that makes it pretty versatile. Um, I've been on some other boats that it had to have its own separate fuel tank um, just for the uh, fan and you couldn't run anything else off of that fuel tank. So this is how I set mine up and it just works out pretty good I think. So while I'm at it, I want to go ahead and just show you a few things that I've done to this boat uh, to make it a lot more user friendly um, for all the different things that I do. So this is the back of the boat. This is where the back seat or um, where you would typically sit. I went ahead and I actually have a seat. It's not in there right now, but it's right here. And so that's where I typically sit is in that seat that's right there. Here, what I did was this is this door is normally not here. Um, I put that door on there and I cut 
the I cut the top of this seat out and what was inside of there was foam so as you can kind of see there there used to be a little bit of foam there but that whole compartment was completely full of foam but as you can see this is my battery compartment uh, this is the battery that runs the uh, the big motor and then over here is just storage I could put you know anything that I need in there I, I keep a toolkit in there and life jackets and and just all kinds of stuff in there so that really opened up the boat you know to for storage um, I've also I've also got lights in there as well that I can turn on and off so I got, have good good visibility inside of there at night all right, so I also want to show you the front of the boat here. Um, I made an extension onto the front of the bow. See, right here, this is where the original boat stopped in the front, and there's your little compartment that goes up into the front of the bow. I added all of this on, and that is now my battery compartment for my, uh, my trolling motor. And, and there's also enough room for lots of other equipment up there. Um, you know, I, I keep arrows up there and obviously a fire extinguisher, um, just all kinds of stuff. And then I can still use the original storage compartment that goes clear up underneath the bow. And then obviously you gotta have your speakers in there. So um, I, I just, I really like that little addition that I did um, to this boat. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. And lastly, uh, this is my fan control arm uh, that controls the left and right movement of the fan. Um, it's also got the throttle. There's the throttle control. Um, but then, as I was talking about earlier, uh, here's my key switch for the, um, for the motor to turn the fan motor on and off. And then this is the switch for the uh, fuel pump. And then these are just light uh, switches for lights. I believe this is the one for the lights that are on the fan itself. And then this one here is for lights that are up here on the bow fishing deck on the platform. So, so that's just a quick rundown of what my control arm looks like. It's nothing fancy. Um, there are some really super nice control arms out there. Um, I didn't get quite that carried away with mine, but mine definitely does work. So that's what I got going on for my setup. about it for this video um, just wanted to give you a quick uh, little shot of what it looks like to put this fan on and off my boat here um, like I said most guys that I know that have fans they don't ever take their fan off their boat but that just doesn't work for me because this boat does everything um, just takes a few minutes to switch everything out and then I'm off to the next thing and, and I really like that about this boat the way I got it set up so anyhow thanks for watching guys as always please like subscribe share and please leave me some comments you know tell me tell me about your boat i'd like to hear and see what you guys got for your bow fishing boats out there as well so thanks guys